Okay, hello everyone. My name is Josh Nakamura and I'm the ro roving reporter for uh, San Jose 2022 Obon. I'm here with Al Hironaga. And today we're going to be discussing um, just generally thoughts on Obon after not being here for, what is it, maybe two or three years. So what do you, you know, what's maybe the emotions you're feeling or what do you just think about this Obon? It's great having our bong again. Uh, you see a lot of friends you haven't seen for two years. Seeing the, the dancers out here, which we haven't seen for two years. Getting to eat good food, <laughs> play games, and even a beer booth uh, out there. So. And, um, you know, what, do you, what would you say is your favorite event uh, at a bong? Favorite event? event is uh, check cashing because I'm in charge of the check cashing booth. <laughs> so bring your credit cards and your ATM statements and we'll give you cash for it. <laughs> right, and for the audiences watching, um, if you don't know, um, Al over here, he actually volunteers and works at that booth. So <laughs> always stop by, you know, feel free to chat if uh, he's open uh, because I'm sure, you know, we could talk about a lot of different stories and all that. But um, do you have any, you know, just general information on a bone or maybe some, you know, stories that you'd like to tell? I joined the church in 1989 and uh, shortly after that, because I was with the Boy Scouts, I got involved with the Obong. So I've been working with the Obong ever since. And about uh, 1993-4, I got in charge of the check cashing booth. At that time, we only cashed checks. There wasn't uh, eight, uh, debit cards, yeah. But now we've gone to debit cards and everything's Wi-Fi. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's getting more complicated, so we need the younger people to start working on <laughs> it. Right, right, right. And um, if you are interested in volunteering for Obon or, um, you know, construction, deconstruction, working for the game booths, we have food booths, you know, you could always uh, feel free to sign up. Or if you just, you know, want to hang around at the main Obon, um, this year it's on the weekends of July 9th and 10th. So maybe if you're watching this right now and maybe you want to head over, we'll be open and open. We'll be running until maybe, what is it, 8, 9? Eight, 8, okay, 8-ish maybe is the general time that we'll be closing. But um, other than that, I don't want to leave you uh, in this interview for too long, but if you had maybe one word to describe Obon, uh, what word would that be? Oh, let's see. Happy, I guess. Uh, yeah, a lot of people will come out, have a good time, dance, play games, eat good food. So, yeah. You know, and um, a lot of the other previous words that I've heard uh, when asking the same question is like community, right? Or family, right? And everyone, you know, comes together to create this wonderful festival and, you know, have a good time, make good food, right? Eat good food. And that's really just, um, you know, that's what I think, and I'm sure that's what a lot of people think of one. So nice meeting you, my Josh, and I hope to see you around. Thank you, everyone, and we'll just wave goodbye. Okay, there. Um, once again, we're at another. Uh, we are. Stations uh, called Asian American Curriculum. See, you have the nurse. Looks right. All in the Yes. Yeah. Okay. The stuff. One of our missions of our organization is to let people know that this stuff exists. Right. What I see is like a wide variety, right? You have anything from picture books to maybe full-on novels, right? Novels and reference type material, history. An informative text, I could see that too. But um, moving to like maybe more Obon, what do you think of, you know, coming to Obon after maybe two or three years of not having this event? 
Oh, it's, uh, we're glad to be back. Yeah. yeah. We, we've been to this event for almost as long as I've been with the organization for over 25 years. I don't know if we've been the, you know, coming that long. I think maybe 20 years or so. Right, right, right. Ah, and, you know, coming back to the Sabon, you know, what are your th uh, thoughts generally or maybe emotions? What are you excited for? Just to see people. Uh, <laughs> You know, the, uh, we, we're still carrying out our mission online, but mm -hmm. to be able to talk to customers and um, to hear feedback from them and what their interests are. Mm -hmm. Right, and that, you know, interaction is really, really yeah. nice, you know, especially when you get to meet different people and talk about, you know, different uh, topics that both of you are interested in. And so that's what I, from what I understand, that's kind of the general purpose of this bookstore, right? Yeah. You know, to just kind of get a general teachers mm -hmm. uh, we go to conferences sometimes uh, like this we participated in this bilingual conference but that was virtual and and everybody's yeah. kind of like coming in and out right, and, right, right, right. and that you know that was the hard aspect right of technical and doing everything online yeah, yeah. Well, so <laughs> yeah 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 that did happen quite a bit from what I remember at least but um, do you have any like stories or you know just little tidbits of information that you want to talk about the bookstore Oh, well, the organization's been around for 40, uh, 52 years, and um, talking with the founders, you know, you hear stories about how they used to have just a few books way back in 52 years ago that uh, they, they started publishing their own stuff, and uh, they would go all, all across the country in a VW bug <laughs> and stuff like that. Take everything and you know bring it all in one car. <laughs> right, that's right. Okay, last question, and you know I'll leave you uh, be. Uh, if you maybe had one word to describe the whole of Obon, or maybe Obon from years previous, you know what do you think that word would be? Oh, I don't have. You know, one. I hear. Um, Asking the same question to a lot of other people. I hear a community or family. I also hear fun, interactions. You know, I hear a lot of a lot of things on that. But what would you, if you do have a personal one, or maybe you just, you know, would agree with that whole concept of being able to meet new people, or, you know, interaction? Well, for some reason, the word beautiful right, <laughs> right, popped into right. my head. Uh, it's just, you know, it, things like taiko drummers you don't mm -hmm. get to see unless you come to it uh, they, they had some videos but it's not the same right, right. getting that you know in person you get to actually see them you know drumming and you know that's the beautiful part of it right yeah, getting to see there's this so many events where taiko drummers are a part of it but you don't realize how much you miss it until <laughs> that's right, that's right. All right, and we'll end off on that beautiful, uh, just this mix of, you know, everything that you could possibly imagine all out of one. All right, nice meeting you. My name is Josh. Nice, nice to meet you. All right, and that's it for today. Uh, we'll see what we can get at another spot to interview. Um, but other than that, thank you for the interview. Uh, thank you. We'll see you later. All right, hello everyone. Uh, we are with Steve Onishi. Steve Onishi at what I read as the Dharma Center Generations. So is this, that correct? Yeah. So this booth, uh, we're promoting our new uh, education building replacement. We currently have an old education building, right? That's been there for 40, 50 years, and so the idea is to create a new education building. We're calling it the Dharma Center. The Dharma Center. Right. Right. And that new building is that going to be in the general area? So Currently, if you want to take a look at our plan, it get, this is really interesting, right? Because we have the plan here where we actually show where the existing building is. We're going to build a new building adjacent to it. And so the advantage of doing that is we can build this whole brand new building. And when it's done, then we can transfer everybody into here. So wow. while it's being built, the preschool can continue, the Dharma school can continue, Japanese language school, the Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. Everyone can use the building as it is. Not until the new building is finished, then we move everyone. Then we're going to take down the old building and build the correct the rest of the campus here. Oh man! 
Okay. And, yeah. And so one of the key things that everyone wanted was more parking, <laughs> more right? More parking. Space. So we we're going to be adding a bunch of more parking oh, on our property okay, here. Okay. Yes. And we are right across the street from the uh, old uh, education building, right? I don't know if we can yeah, so see that. Currently, yeah, the old education building is directly across the street from the existing hondo. And so we now we have a Japanese architect hondo and our new building will have some Japanese architecture too to try to integrate it all together, right? That's like the aesthetic plan, right? To get exactly. um, kind of the exactly. general theme or the exactly. same theme. Right. Right. So this is an opportunity. In this booth now, we're trying to present the plan to the community, uh -huh. let everyone know what our plans are. We have um, artists' renditions of what it's going to look like. Wow. It's, we're inviting everyone to content, take a look. We're trying to generate excitement around the community. And there's been a lot of people come in and very excited about this because we're uh, what we're doing is we're adding additional space that the rest of the community could use. We have an auditorium here, or a multi-purpose room, and it's available for other community. Yeah, that's perfect. That's great. Okay. And that is the Generations building. Or the, is it the Generations plan or the yeah, building? Yeah, so it started out, uh, I don't know how many years ago now, we had a Generations program, which we're trying to update the buildings, right? So we're saying that the original, like my grandparents, um, the Issei's built the original church, built the original buildings. Then my parents' generation, the second generation, came in and they were able to finance. And so we upgraded our gym, what, five or six years ago. And most of that money came from that generation. So now it's the new generation, it's my generation. Uh -huh. And we're hoping to raise the money to upgrade now the education building. Uh, so that's why we call this whole program Generations, right? right it's right, passing right. on, right? Yeah. Um, and we called the gym project phase one. This is considered phase two. Phase two, okay. So this is all ahead in the future. Do you have maybe like a general time frame of yes. when do you think this is gonna be completed? So, so what we're hoping for is, you know, it depends on fundraising, obviously. And so the hope, we hope to start the construction at the end of 2023, beginning of 2024 and will be complete before the end of 2024. Oh, that's, that's actually perfect. Yeah, wow. It's not too far off. Yeah, it is not, not too far. far. It's 2022 exactly. right now. Exactly, right? So that's just in a little while. Yes. All right, thank you. That's, um, that'll probably wrap it up for the Generations Great. interview. Great. Josh Nakamura. Steve Onishi. Steve Onishi. Yeah. All right, and that ends it for this segment. Great. All right, perfect. Thank you for Thanks. that. <laughs>